theme of culture and sustainability, and I'd like to introduce our next two speakers, Lemmy Ponifacio, choreographer, founder and director of MEU Dance Theatre, originally from Samoa and now based in Auckland, New Zealand, and Dr Yelena Poyagau, who is a scientist in green sustainable chemistry from Glasgow. Please make your way to the lectern. Thank you both. Thank you. It is indeed a pleasure for me to stand before you all representing my region, Oceania region, the people of the Pacific Islands. As mentioned, my name is Dr. Yal Mupoya Gao. I am a sustainable scientist specializing in green chemistry. Today, I have the pleasure to speak to you all about sustainability in the Pacific Islands. Now, just to give a background on our Oceania region, um, I'm sure some of you know where we are located. We're in the Pacific Ocean, and the Oceania region is divided into three subregions. We have the Melanesian people, Polynesians, and then we have the Micronesia. Now, you can see we are a large, um, we are large amounts of people. We are in the Pacific um, Ocean, and we are comprised of three subregions. Now. We have heard a lot about different arts and cultures, and of course, today I will speak to you about sustainability. Now, first of all, I would like to just highlight why you should all care about the Pacific region or the Oceania region. Well, the Pacific Ocean, of course, it helps um, regulate the global climates and is of also the largest storage of carbon. We have the Pacific Ocean, which provides very rich fishing grounds, 70% of the world's global catch. We have the Pacific Ocean, which is the largest in the world and provides sea transportation from east to west. Pacific Islands are also rich in gold, silver, copper, and other very rare metals. We also supply the world with oil and gas, and we are food baskets. And because we have vast virgin tropical rainforest, of course, it helps absorb carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. And we, of course, offer the world so much more. Now, we have this great issue of climate change, and we have all been um, talking about it for a very long time. However, it has been affecting the Pacific Islands for a very long time. Now, I'm sure you have come across this image before, where we have the minister from Tuvalu who spoke at the COP26 meeting. He gave his speech from the sea, of course, because you have the sea level rises and our islands are sinking in the Pacific. So because Pacific Islands is spread across throughout the Pacific Ocean and because of the rise in sea levels, this has caused us to be extremely vulnerable to climate change. Now, the entire Oceania region, it only contributes 0.8%. 0.3% of the total greenhouse gases. However, we are the ones who suffer the most. Now, it has drastically affected our way of life, which of course, it entails our cultural um, identity, and also it affects our overall sustainable development of our region. Now, uh, today I will just highlight a couple of challenges that we face on land and also on sea. Uh, the, changes, the challenges that we face mainly on land are the clean water shortages, of course. Um, we have our small island nations where we have a rise in sea level. It causes, it contaminates the entire fresh water supplies and um, causes um, our water supplies to decrease. We also have extreme weather um, events. I'm sure you've seen across, um, may, maybe across some, some different issues that we face with um, problems across the Pacific for different countries where we have extreme droughts, uh, floods, and heat waves. It has also caused problems with our food production where we have um, our farmlands to be um, become salinated by the salt water coming in from the ocean. We also have a problem in a decrease in our biodiversity, land erosions, health problems, and so much more. Now for the challenges faced on water, of course, we, the people of the Pacific, we mainly depend on our fishing. So the people of Pacific, we depend on our fish for food and also to sustain our livelihoods. Um, a lot of us, of course, we come from developing countries in the Pacific Islands where we depend on the sale of fish in order to sustain our living. Well, this has been affected by climate change. And at the same time, we have a destruction of coral reefs rising of sea levels, our islands are sinking, 
people are migrating from small island nations to larger countries as climate refugees. We also have a decrease in biodiversity because of the drastic effects, uh, mainly in our seas, rivers, and you can see that we also have, a, of course, our fresh water supplies are even decreasing as well, and we have the major problem of our ocean acidification. Now, how do we act? We, the people of Pacific, we have come up with all sorts of solutions, but we need to act now because we have to protect our islands in order for us to have sustainable lives and, of course, in order to protect our culture and our identity. Now, of course, we have these climate agreements with um, things have started to go into play, especially with um, back in Paris, and also we have the recent COP26 meetings. We also have to protect our water sources by doing our own sustainable ways, by planting vegetation to act as buffer sources, and also build barriers because we have the salt water coming in and contaminating our water. We, the Pacific, are resilient people, so we have come up with, of course, going back to how we did our traditional culture practices, where we use traditional agroforestry practices to to help with shading crops and trees to grow weather tolerant foods. We also have to protect our vulnerable areas. We have plenty of our islands which are of course sinking, um, Kiribati, Marshall Islands, Tuvalu, these are some of the examples. So we have to come up with ways to protect our vulnerable areas. We also have climate change plans, where Pacific Islands, of course, are producing plans, Pacific Island nation governments in talks with each other to upgrade infrastructure and also migrate for climate change refugees. And of course, we have to create awarenesses to our people that in order to maintain our cultural identity, to protect our traditional ways, we are suffering climate change. And of course, in order to do that, we have to educate everyone around us on how we can adapt um, to sustainable, sustainability and how to do it effectively. Now, Pacific Islanders, we are resilient people. Despite all that has happened to us, we still hold on to our culture, traditions, and beliefs very close to us. Uh, we are very rich and diverse in culture. Um, we speak many languages. I'll give an example. My country, Papua New Guinea, alone speaks almost 900 languages, spread in only 8 million people. So the entire area of the Pacific, we are traditionally diverse. We are lovely people, and we are very resilient despite all that has happened to us. So we continue to um, fight climate change, try to come up with adaptable ways to um, survive and also continue our cultural heritage. Thank you.